Hello everyone, welcome to Career Deep Training Solutions. Myself Mohan, at this session we are going to take a short test on number problems. You will be provided with 3 questions and time to solve each questions will be only 45 seconds. Read the question, pause the video for 45 seconds, work it down, then check the answers. If you have some other different shortcuts, pass it on comment section below. Let's have our first question now. If the sum of two numbers is 10 and the sum of their reciprocals is 5 by 12, find the numbers. Your time is only 45 seconds. Pass the video. Work it down. Hope you got the answer. Okay, let's try to solve the problem. If the sum of two numbers is 10, so you can take the two numbers A and B. So A plus B you get 10. The sum of the reciprocals is 5 by 12. Okay, reciprocals means you can take 1 by A plus 1 by B equal to 5 by 12. Now solve this, you will get A plus B by AB equal to 5 by 12. Now instead of A plus B, you can substitute this 10, right? So you will get AB equal to 24. Now you totally have two equations. So if you have A plus B, you need A minus B to find A and B separately. Or if you have A into B, you have to separately find 1 by A or 1 by B to find A and B separately. Now you know A plus B equal to 10. So if you find a minus b the whole square, you can easily find a minus b, right? So you know a minus b the whole square equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab. Now again, you need uh, you have a, uh, a into b. So a into b is 24. But you have to find a square plus b square separately, right? So for that, you can use a plus b the whole square formula. So a plus b the whole square equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab. Now from this you can find a square plus b square. So a square plus b square equal to a plus b the whole square minus 2ab, right? So you can substitute this value in the place of a square plus b square so that you can write a minus b the whole square as a minus b the whole square equal to a plus b the whole square minus 4ab. So minus 2ab plus minus 2ab, you get minus 4ab. Now instead of a into b, you can substitute 24. Instead of a plus b, you can substitute 10. So 10 square, you get 100. 100 minus 96. So a minus b the whole square equal to 100 minus 96. So a minus b will be 2. So if a plus b equal to 10 and a minus b equal to 2, you can find a and b separately. So solve these two equations, you get a equal to 6, where b equal to 4. So if your answer is 6 and 4, then you are correct. Hope you got the problem. Now moving to question number 2. 50 is divided into 2 parts such that the sum of their reciprocals is 1 by 12. Find the 2 parts or find the 2 numbers and your time is 45 seconds. Pause the video, work it, then play the video. Hope you got the answer. See 50 is divided into 2 parts. Okay, now if you take the first number as a, then you have to take the second number as 50 minus a. That means if the first part is 10, second part will be 50 minus 10, 40, right? Because you are dividing only this 50 into two parts. So if first part is a, second part will be 50 minus a. The sum of the reciprocal is 1 by 12. So the sum of reciprocal means it is 1 by a plus 1 by 50 minus a. You get 1 by 12. Now solve this, you get 50a. I mean 50 minus a plus a divided by 50a minus a square equal to 1 by 12 plus a and minus a cancel you get 600 equal to 50a minus a square so you can write a square minus 50a equal to I mean minus 600 plus 600 equal to 0 now you have an equation, just solve it, you will get 1 into 600, 600. So while multiplying you get, you have to get 600, while adding you have to get minus 50. So minus 20 and minus 30 are the combination. So minus 20 into minus 30 you get plus 600 minus 20 plus minus 30 you get minus 50. So a equal to 20 or a equal to 30. Now you know the first part is 20. So second part will be obviously 30 or if first part is 30, second part will be 20. So here you have to find the two parts, right? So you have to consider 20 and 30. So answer for this question is 20 and 30. So if your answer is 20 and 30, then you are correct. Now moving to last question of the session. 
A fraction becomes 2 by 3 when 1 is added to both its numerator and denominator. And it becomes 1 by 2 when 1 is subtracted from both numerator and denominator. Find the fraction. So again your time is 45 seconds. Pause the video, work it and play it. Hope you are with the answer. If you haven't solved, listen it carefully. So you can take the fraction as x by y. So fraction will have a numerator and denominator. So if you add 1 with the numerator and 1 with the denominator, it will become 2 by 3. Now simplify it, you get 3x plus 3 equal to 2y plus 2. So you can uh, reframe it, 3x minus 2y equal to minus 1. Now you got the first equation. So second equation will be, it becomes 1 by 2 when 1 is subtracted from the numerator and denominator. So subtract 1 from numerator and denominator, you get 1 by 2. Now simplify it, you get 2x minus 2 equal to y minus 1. So 2x minus y you get 1. Now you have first equation and second equation. So I do multiply the second equation by 2. So I get 4x minus 2y, I mean yeah 2y equal to 2. So 3x, so this is our first equation 3x minus 2y equal to minus 1. So minus plus and plus. So minus 2y plus 2y cancel. So 4 minus 3x we get x and 2 plus 1 you get 3. So x equal to 3. Now you got x value equal to 3. Now I, I substitute this x value equal to 3 in second equation, right? So 2 into 3 you get 6. So 6 minus 1, 6 minus y equal to 1. So you can see y equal to 5. Now you have to find the fraction, right? So if you want to find the fraction, you have to substitute x value that is numerator first and denominator second. So the fraction is 3 by 5. So if your answer is 3 by 5, then you are correct. So if you have followed some other different shortcuts, so please educate us by pausing in comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this session, right? So please like and share the video to your friends. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.